Hey, what's up guys? It's Axonai here and uh, welcome to my first programming tutorial. Um, so I hope to make this a series and we're going to build a simple Django web application. Um, I think it would be best for beginners or for people who haven't coded before to start with a simple and very, very understandable tutorial. And for that, I have chosen the Django Girls tutorial, which uh, I'm, I'm putting the link in the description. You can go and find and look at the tutorial by yourself. Uh, it's pretty easy to follow, very well written, and it's really good for beginners. But if uh, you're already a web developer or you're pretty advanced with Python, then uh, I would suggest finding some other resource. This is for beginners only. The best part of this tutorial is that it doesn't require any, any uh, coding experience or nothing like that. You can get started right away. The programming language we will be using is Python, which is uh, a really beautiful and simple language to learn, very beginner friendly but also very, very powerful. Okay, so in this first video, the only thing we will do is uh, start with our setup, how to install Python in our computer, how to install um, Django and the virtual environment and also a code editor and Git. Uh, in this first video, we will only do the setup for Windows and in the next one, I will do another tutorial for Linux. Um, I'll be using the Ubuntu distribution, but uh, it should work on any other Debian, as you can follow if you have another uh, Debian-based Linux distribution. And for other distros, I think it would be pretty similar. Anyway, let's uh, get started right away. So first things first, um, we want to install Python in our machine. So let's go to Google and download Python for Windows. You can just type in Download Python, Windows, and in the first results you should see uh, Python releases for Windows. Click on the first link you see. Okay, uh, before you download any distribution of Python, make sure that uh, you know the architecture of your machine. Um, so, with don't don't get uh, scared by the terminology. Uh, it's pretty easy to check up. Just go to uh, system information and um, so from for my PC, as you can see, it's a 64 uh, uh, it's a 64 based PC. So I'm going to uh, download. So first I want to download Python 3.7 and so I'm going for this 64-bit uh, executable installer. Make sure to download Python 3.7 and this installer right here. If you don't have a 64-bit PC then I would suggest going for this one. Okay, so I'm just downloading this. It's asking for me, I'm saving it. Okay, now let's get started. Just click on the executable. Make sure before you, you uh, start clicking on install to make sure to check this add Python 3.7 to path. This will make your life much easier if you, and then if you forget it and then you have to go modify your path on Windows. So make sure to, to tick this box here and let's go. Okay. Installing Python. So uh, after the installer is finished, you should see this setup was successful. Click on close. Now, um, as you can see from this install installation section in the um, Django Girls tutorial, after we install Python, we would need to install a code editor. So here I uh, strongly suggest Visual Studio Code, which is an open source uh, code editor from Microsoft. It's really easy to use and uh, I really like it. 
let's go it's code for windows just type in okay the first result should be the one we want okay so since we're working on windows just uh, download again the 64-bit uh, user installer just make sure to click here okay guys after you have installed uh, after you have downloaded VS Code just make sure to click on the installer and uh, click on accept and then go next 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 uh, choose the default folders. I'm not going to do that since I al already have it installed on my machine. So I'm going to click cancel. Okay. Um, then you can open, after you have installed it, you can open VS Code. And you should see something like this. Okay. Sorry for uh, the slow PC. This is not actually my PC. I'm just using this because I need to do uh, this tutorial for Windows. Okay, uh, one more thing, make sure to go to extensions and then search for Python. It should be the first result and make sure to click on install here. I already have it installed. This tool, this extension will help you uh, so much in writing Python code because it will provide uh, autocomplete uh, code snippets and all that nice stuff. Okay, just close VS Code for now. The next thing we're going to install is Git, the version control system we're going to use. Just type in Git, download Windows, and the first result should be the one we need. Okay, just go there. Make, Make sure to uh, choose again the appropriate version. I am going to download again six, the 64-bit one. I, al uh, I already have it, so I'm going to cancel it. And then after the download has finished for you, make sure to click on the executable installer and again just keep the default uh, settings. Just, just click, click on next, 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 next until, until you finish. Okay, yes. Now we have installed everything we need for our tutorial, so we're going to start writing uh, some commands in the Windows command line CMD. Just go to the start, search for CMD, okay, open it. I'm making this full screen and I have enlarged uh, the font so you can see better. As you can see, I'm already situated in the folder for my user. You should see um, the name of your user here. Okay, so the command line lets you do uh, a lot of stuff like navigating the file system just like you would do using File Explorer. But I'm going to show you some simple commands. First, we need to go to desktop, use the command cd which means change directory and then type in the name of the folder desktop okay so here we're going to create the folder where we are going to keep all the files for our project so to create the folder like you would uh, in file explorer here we're going to use uh, the command make directory which is mkdir and name the folder Jungle Girls. You can name it whatever you want, but I, su I suggest that you uh, follow along with the naming conventions I am going to use so it is easier for you. And if you type enter here, you should create this folder. Uh, I, I have already uh, created this folder, so it gives me this error, but for you it should be fine. And then I'm going to navigate into this folder by using CD again. So, 
now I'm going to um, if you if you check on the file explorer go to the desktop and you should see a folder Django girls I'm going to delete the stuff I already have here so for you it should be uh, an empty folder Django girls okay so now the first file we need for our project it will be a requirements file what is a requirements file it's very very easy so you just need a text file where you can list all the python libraries that you need for the project so inside the Django girls you can use file explorer for this right click on it and type new text document I'm going to call this just requirements and if I open this with notepad I just type in the name of the Django, uh, the library I want so it will be Django 2.2.4 and hit save let me zoom in for you so pretty easy if I had other libraries that I need to install I would go down here and add them one by one but for now we only need this, uh, need this one so just uh, click on save or uh, control s okay in the command line we can use the command dir to list in windows all the files folders in our directory where we are situated at the moment so, so as, as you, you can, can see, see I have the requirements.txt here as well okay so I'm just going to use the command CLS I'm just going to clear the screen so it's more readable for you and now I'm going to um, create a virtual environment so a virtual environment is just like a confined environment inside your computer where you can install whichever version of the Python libraries you need at the moment we will need Django and uh, so we just need to install Django and then that will take care of installing some other libraries that Django needs to run so to create a, a virtual environment first let's check our Python installation if you just type in Python you'll see that I already have Python 3.7.5 installed uh, and if you get into the interpreter like this it means that you have a correct installation of Python you can do you can execute some Python code here you can do a print hello but uh, that's it for now we just want to test our Python installation just type in exit with the parentheses to get out of the interpreter make sure to get out of the interpreter now, to create the virtual environment, just follow this command Python M VMV. And now we can name the virtual environment. I'm just going to call it My VMV. I suggest you do the same. And click Enter. And now Python will go and create the virtual environment. Okay, after Django, uh, after Python is finished, you will see the prompt again. And now, if you type dir again, dir, you will see that uh, Python has created this folder, my VMV. You can check it out from File Explorer as well. This is uh, this contains all the files needed to run the virtual environment. Always, if you want to work on this virtual environment, you have to activate it first. Never forget to do that because mostly, when you get started working with Python and virtual environments. Uh, you always forget to do this. I used to do this when I just got started, so always make sure to activate it. To activate the virtual environment, you just have to type in the uh, the full path of the activate script. But since we are already in the Django Girls folder, we can just type in uh, the name of the folder where the virtual environment is, my VMV. Wait, let me clear the screen again my vmv backslash scripts backslash activate make sure to enter okay as you can see you are already inside the virtual environment now and uh, 
you can tell by this by the name of the BMV in parentheses on the left. Okay. Now, in this virtual environment, we need to install uh, our requirements, and to do that, we will use pip, which is the tool that Python has to install uh, libraries. But before, we need to upgrade pip, and to do that, just type in this command, pip install dash dash upgrade pip dash dash user. Um, if you're running CMD as an administrator, you don't need to add this user. Okay. It's already collecting pip and installing the new version of it. Always make sure to do this so you have uh, the latest version of pip. Okay, after it's done, you should see the prompt again. Don't worry about this warning at the moment. So now, after upgrading pip, we will install the requirements. To do that, just type in pip install dash r requirements big text dot text. So what this will do is pip will go and search in this requirements folder and install all the libraries listed there recursively. That's why we need this flag dash r. But uh, we only have Django as a requirement right now. If we had more, we just put them in the requirements for file. Just type enter and wait for it to finish. Okay, after this installation is finished, um, I'm just going to clear the screen. Okay, so we are done for this session. We already installed Python and Django and the code editor. We installed Git. Um, in the next video, I will uh, do the same, but for Linux. Okay, right now you should uh, also learn how to deactivate the virtual environment. So just type in deactivate. And next time when you want to reactivate it again, just make sure you go into the Django Girls uh, folder like we did, and then type in uh, the name, name of the of your virtual environment, backslash scripts, backslash activate. Okay. And as always, check if you are in the right virtual environment. Okay, so uh, that's it for this uh, first tutorial. I will, I'm going to continue to uh, use Linux on my PC, but even for you, uh, for the people who are using Windows, you should be able to follow because you already have installed everything you need. Uh, thank you guys for your time. If you found this helpful, just leave a like, leave a comment. I'm going to do more on this series in the uh, next days in the end in the next weeks i'm hoping to continue to do more programming tutorials especially in python so if you like the content please please make sure to subscribe and also check out my twitter and my instagram uh, on my instagram i already have uh, some uh, coding memes and so if you like that just leave me a follow in the description you'll also find the link to the tutorial to the django girls tutorial so you can follow uh, with the text tutorial as well. It's a really well written tutorial. Thanks again and see you in the next one. Bye bye.